Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah. Uh, today we're going to uh, discuss the second part of uh, atomic structure. In particular, we're going to analyze the Rutherford cross-section in a little bit more detail than we did last time. Um, if, if, as you recall, Rutherford's experiment uh, basically discovered the nucleus. They used an, um, a radioactive source uh, to um, and use the alpha particles emitted from that radioactive source. Remember, alpha particles are just helium nuclei, so two protons, two neutrons. Um, they collimated this source and they shined it on a thin gold foil and they looked at, they used a detector, um, a screen to, um, to measure the number of particles that were scattered in different directions, okay, around in their, uh, in their sphere. So they, um, uh, that was Rutherford's experiment. If you recall, he, they found that, that uh, a significant number of alpha particles were actually scattered, backscattered, that is, they were scattered by angles greater than 90 degrees, um, which was not consistent with the uh, Thompson's plum pudding model and suggested the existence of a nucleus. And Rutherford basically deduced this from the data um, by doing some calculations and we're basically going to go through that derivation today. Okay, so if we look at this process on a more sort of microscopic level, that is if we uh, go from looking at kind of uh, beams of alpha particles and uh, large numbers of alpha particles being detected at different angles, being scattered by a thin gold foil, and we think of just a single alpha particle uh, coming in and being scattered by a nucleus. So we have an alpha particle coming in, coming in here with an initial velocity, uh, we'll call that V0 from the left, and <coughs> we imagine that all the alpha particles are going to be coming in the same direction. And this one basically is going to scatter off uh, a, uh, a nucleus. And uh, one of the assumptions we're going to make is that the, uh, the only interaction between the alpha particle and the nucleus, the scattering center, is the repulsive Coulomb interaction. So repulsive because the, the positively we have a positively charged nucleus and the alpha particle again is, is um, also positively charged. It's two protons and two neutrons. Okay, so the alpha particle comes in. It starts off uh, the, um, at infinity, that is far away from the nucleus. Before it gets deflected, it's, it's coming in in this direction. And basically, we, uh, in scattering theory, we designate this distance here that corresponds to the distance of closest approach of the, out, of the incoming particle to the scattering center if there were no interactions. So if there are no interactions, it would follow this blue dotted line here. And we call that the impact parameter B, okay? That, that the distance between uh, that trajectory and, and uh, the, uh, the closest distance between that trajectory and the scattering center, okay? And so initially, uh, the, again, the, uh, the particle comes in, the alpha particle comes in, it gets deflected and it goes out and far away again, the, the Coulomb interaction is not playing a role when it gets very far away, and so it just follows a straight line trajectory. So um, it, 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 it comes into a distance of closest approach, so you can, at any, at any point along the trajectory, we can define its distance from the nucleus, R, okay, from the scattering center, R, and it's got, at this point, it's its, it's closest distance, so this would be R min, this would be R, and um, and so before it gets to R min, then we we, we uh, say that it's uh, it's in the incoming channel or it's approaching uh, the scattering center, and then it's on the outgoing channel or it's uh, receding from the uh, scattering center. Okay, and so this 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 particle, this alpha particle, will be scattered through an angle theta, as indicated here, and um, far away when we're, where our detector is, this slight offset. Um, of B between the uh, trajectory and the and the th and you know so theta has you see that there's a slight that there's an offset of the, that's equal to B between the, the trajectory that it follows and the one that it would uh, the the theta that is defined directly from the scattering center here but that 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 uh, that offset doesn't really matter when you're far away because that's that's really sort of a very small distance 